Hey guys, in my last video on Spectres, I went over most of the types as well as the newest Corrupted Bombard one, and I also described their uses in Warframe. In this video, however, I will be taking a more critical look at Tenno Spectres and highlighting their uses and disadvantages. If you haven't watched my other video, I highly recommend that you do so you'll get the bigger picture. Tenno Spectre blueprints are one-time uses and are rewarded from completing rescue missions, where you rescue a target from a faction's prison-like area. After completing the mission, you will get a type of Spectre based on your points and the difficulty of the mission. One point for the rescue itself, one for not triggering the execution alarm, and one for killing all of the wardens. Vapor Spectres are the lowest tier and spawn at the level's enemy range. However, you also get more of the Spectres per blueprint for Vapor Spectres at 10 versus 5 of the next higher tier of the Spectres and only 1 for Cosmic Spectres. Tenno Spectres require credits and resources to build and their cost varies depending on the Spectre. Vapor Spectres use a high amount of Ferrite and Salvage to build, but only 15,000 credits. A Cosmic Spectre, which is the highest tier, requires 60,000 credits, but a marginally lower amount of resources. Besides building costs, the type of Spectre determines what level they will spawn at when deployed. Vapor Spectres spawn in at the level enemies currently are. Phage Spectres spawn in at an additional 3, Force an additional 5, and finally Cosmic, which spawns 10 levels higher than the current enemy level. Because Spectres themselves do not use mods, and thus use unmodded weapons that simply scale in damage as they spawn higher in level, just like enemies do. This means weapon choices generally go by damage or utility, rather than their potential through mods. For example, a Spectre equipped with an Ignis will be pretty deadly up close, but it will refuse to fire the weapon past its pre-buff range, so it will never attempt to use the Ignis to its full potential, and just stand there while aiming until enemies get close. To give your Spectre a loadout you want, or to change your current Spectre regiment, you must build a set of that type. A window will open up that will show your current loadout, and the loadout of your Spectres if they exist. You are given an option to apply your current loadout over the old one, or choose to keep the old loadout. In any case, the build will start, and it will take 8 hours to complete. And as a side note, if you changed your Spectre loadout with something new, this will not apply to your Spectres until you have claimed the blueprint, otherwise they simply spawn in as their old loadouts. As for their usefulness, they have the smartest AI in the game, similar to enemies from the Index or Rathum, where enemies roll, dodge, and strafe constantly compared to normal enemy types. They can bullet jump and glide in the air to bridge the gap between areas and stick close to the player at all times, unless actively using their melee weapon or if they are knocked down. How effective they are, then, depends on the loadouts you give them. They can also use abilities, but generally only spam their first ability and then run off their energy supply, and then never use abilities again. I've heard of other people's Spectres energy recharging, and then them using abilities again, but I have never seen this happen, and I have very rarely seen a Tenno Spectre use anything other than their first ability, or something like Iron Skin with a Rhino Spectre. Even if given crappy weapons or spawned as a less than durable Warframe, they still can distract enemies and act like a bodyguard, drawing away fire. And Vapor Spectres are pretty throwaway anyways, and create 10 per blueprint. I don't recommend building the other Spectres, however, because while the resource is a bit lower and they spawn at a slightly higher level, you get much less. In fact, like I mentioned, the Cosmic one only gives you one, so regardless if they are a bit more powerful, they are really not worth building in my opinion. Let's conclude this video by rating the Tenno Spectres, assuming we are going by Vapor Spectres and their loadouts are good. For survivability, I give the Tenno Spectres a 7 out of 10 because they can last long unless surrounded by enemies and they can move quickly. I give them an 8 out of 10 for damage, they can deal great damage with their weapons. I give them a 4 out of 10 for utility because while they can use abilities, they generally don't provide much backup or crowd control for players. Overall, I rate Tenno Spectres a uh, 7 out of 10. They are good in most missions and can provide decent support. So that's just one of the Spectre types in Warframe. Stay tuned for the next Spectre overview video where we'll be taking a look at the Corrupted Bombard Spectres. Thanks for watching.